welcome to a reading vlog. I actually have a physical book for this one. I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about what's going on. So I actually haven't vlogged in a month because I was kind of slow to edit my last two vlogs and then I did my February reads. So it's been a month since I vlogged but I'm reading a very exciting book today. I am also on a two week break which started three days ago. Um, I finished a term at my school. I did an exam three days ago. It went really well. But now I'm on a break and usually on my breaks I have a little plan on what I'm gonna focus on. But this time, I just really want to relax and read and watch things and maybe write a little more because writing is always like so hard. Like my own short story writing and blog posts and stuff like that. But mostly I just want to chill. I really need this break. Um, I have a little bit of work to do, but today is Sunday, and I told myself, even though I've been feeling guilty for not writing as much, I'm gonna chill today. I need all, like, the whole day to chill. I stayed in and read in bed this morning, and then I had pancakes, and I've just been chilling, but it's been so good. I am already... 162 pages in and it's been so absorbing I've been like reading it first thing in the morning and also staying up a bit late which for me means like 10 30 like I go to bed at 10 so that's me staying up late <laughs> to read this because it's been so good um, it is a sequel to Ninth House. So all I'm going to talk about really is the premise. Um, maybe a bit later in this vlog I will talk more about this. So in Ninth House, which I will get right now, I just finished it for the third time and only now do I feel like I know how to explain the premise better, um, which I won't go fully into right now because I will be doing a March reads as well. And I have already talked about this book so many times, but basically it's magical realism. It follows this young woman who is like 20 years old. Her name is Alex Stern, Galaxy Stern, and she's been able to see ghosts her whole life. Basically, at one point, Darlington gets consumed by this portal, this hell beast. And the book is, yeah, that's all I'm going to say because there's a lot of stuff that happens, but it doesn't really, uh, it's not necessary for me to explain um, this book, which is them basically bringing Darlington back from hell. And it's sort of like a, it really gives me Dante's Inferno, even though I haven't read it yet, but I will be reading it this year as prep reading for Hosier's album this summer. I'm so excited. But I just love the hell vibes and the Dante and Virgil stuff. There's been a juicy part of this book already, which I'm not gonna tell you about now, but I might do an ASMR like friend telling you what she's reading video talking about it, which there will be spoilers. But I, I don't know, I felt like that was an exciting video to do, which I might do. Been really fun. And today I'm just gonna read a lot and maybe watch something. I just finished Daisy Jones and the Six yesterday, which was like so sad. But it was really good. I liked it a lot. A lot. in 
the darkness. Did you turn 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 to the camera? Oh, Gigi, Gigi, where are you? Gigi! <laughs> Three. I'm counting down. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Chocolate. Two, one. Ducky one. Oh, it's a ducky. Like a floating ducky. <laughs> you know <laughs> I did have some work that I originally already had to do this week um, but since I am on my break I did tell my boss that I can do an extra article this week so that's what I'm gonna work on today we already discussed what it's gonna be about a few days ago so I'm just gonna do that today it's very research based but I do find it kind of interesting, so hopefully it's going to be good. Um, that's all I can say about it. I'm just, I've been really tired recently. Because I've been, I've been falling asleep late and woken up early by my neighbors. But yesterday I mostly just read in bed, um, which was so nice. Like, I loved being able to do that because Hellbent has just been so suspenseful. Like, I just kept wanting to continue reading. Um, I don't think I'll talk about it right now because I want to get to work, but I think I will do it. I will talk to you about it tomorrow, I think, or just in the next few days just gonna do work for most of the day today and then I'm gonna be making pasta for dinner Cafe. This is 
So yesterday I woke up early at 7.20, which I haven't done for the entire winter because it is very tiring. The winter is just very tiring, but I did it because I wanted to just get my extra article done, which I was able to finish by noon, which was very great. I felt very productive and accomplished and then my parents asked if we wanted to go out to this new cafe in this cool looking building that was near our house so we just walked there. We have this ancient town near our house and we've been there three times now but I've never happened to be vlogging while we went so this was the first time. We didn't end up going to the top floor of the cafe, which is the point, because that's where you see the cool views and everything, because there, there were just too many people there. So then we just left and went to the ancient town and walked around a bit. We just ate dinner there in a nice little, like, balcony place, um, overlooking the river and the bridge and the sunset, which was so nice. But before that, I got a little something for myself that I knew I could eat because I have a lot of food triggers with my eczema and for the past few months, I've been having like repeat flare-ups because every time I heal, I have something new. It's really annoying, but I just didn't feel like playing food trigger roulette anymore, so I just got something I knew I could eat and then had that. <laughs> now let's talk about Hellbent. So, I am more than halfway through Hellbent now and I'm like having so much fun reading it. So first I'm going to just discuss this without any spoilers on what I've read so far. So at the end of Ninth House, well if you haven't read Ninth House, skip to the time that I have left on the screen and I'm gonna start talking now. So at the end of Ninth House, they were planning to go to hell to save Darlington, to bring him back, this golden boy of Lethe. And in this book, we follow Alex through the beginning of her sophomore year and some things have happened in the summer one of them being Aiden you know like one of the drug dealers from her previous life 
her life before Yale and Leafy sort of like came back into her life for reasons I will not get into because that's a spoiler. They broke into Book and Snake, I think, for their portal table, which is discussed in Ninth House, you know, like the portal. They went there to try to do a ritual to open a portal to hell to summon Darlington back. But what they do summon is a bunch of sulfur smell and these fire-breathing horses that just trashed the whole place and then they had to send them back. But right in the last second, as the portal is about to close again, they hear Darlington's voice going, wait, but it's too late. It was just closed and that resulted in a crack down the portal table and they had to apologize to a bunch of society board members so that didn't go well and this new praetor of Lethe House was like well Alex you cannot try to open a gateway to hell or go to hell anymore like like you you've got to stop but Alex is like yes of course I will stop I've learned my lesson but obviously she is still determined she's still hell-bent on getting Darlington back and they start doing lots and lots of other research on a gauntlet which they're supposed to find to be able to go to hell and bring Darlington back and there's really not a lot of information about that because who willingly goes to hell, you know? Like, that's not a door you're supposed to open. That's what everybody is telling Alex. But they keep doing this research and they are actually going to do a ritual to actually descend to hell on Halloween. And they said in Ninth House before that you are not supposed to do any rituals on Halloween, actually, because it draws too much attention from the greys. Samhain is also the day or the night when the veil between the living and the dead is the thinnest so it's actually very dangerous because it attracts a lot of a lot of grays but they have no other choice to do it then because that is kind of the point like they're going to hell and they're trying to figure out their next steps and that's where I'm at right now and since I'm so tired today from walking 14,000 steps yesterday. I will just be reading all day and maybe watching a movie with my sister, but yeah, today is a self-care day for me. I will continue writing my other article tomorrow, but it's gonna be a fun day. My Chi-Chi girl made banana bread. Do-da, do-da. Chi-Chi girl made banana bread. Oh, the do-da day. Hey! <laughs> Gloopy goodness. It is now the last day of March and 3.44 p.m. Today's been a very lazy day. 
I made sesame bread with my sister. I read in bed a little bit, but honestly, I haven't really done much. I cleaned a little this morning, but yesterday I didn't really vlog because it was a very not so great day. I had another article to write, so that's basically what I spent all day doing. But today, I've been feeling very weak and lazy, and all I want to do is just be in bed and read this. I'm like less than, I have less than 100 pages left now, and I'm feeling kind of sad about that, but it's also been picking up so much. Like, so much is happening, which I'll update you in a second. Last time where I left off was them making the descent to hell. I think that was when I talked about it last. You know what? How do I keep this spoiler free though? Okay, I'll try. You know, obviously they're there to get Darlington back, but some things went wrong. I feel like I'm allowed to say that because what else do you expect, you know? But they were able to make it back to our realm. Alex discovers some things about herself. <laughs> That's all I can say. This has been a very fun ride so far. And this vlog is probably so long now because I've I've done such long updates, but hope you're enjoying it so far. <laughs> It is now April 1st. Hello, April. Escape April starts today, and I am feeling so happy about that. I wrote a poem that I'm really happy with, and it was inspired by Hellbent, which I finished this morning in bed. Um, it's very sad because I had such a good time reading it this week you know just being in bed and enjoying a good story i've been really wanting to write recently so i'm glad escape roll has rolled around sorry about the construction and i just started working on my short story a little bit which i haven't done since november i think or october but I've been really wanting to get back into it, so it was nice to do that. I'm not gonna say too much now, since it was at the end and this vlog has been so long. But I do want to say, and this is a spoiler warning, so click on to the time at the screen right now. <laughs> um, I just like that Darlington is half man, half demon now. And it really, like, explores that part of him. I really like that. And that his demon half and Alex's powers are now bound together. Like, do you know what this means? The fanfic's gonna be crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so excited to go on Tumblr and see what people are saying. We need to see more Alex and Darlington, obviously. This book gave us nothing. <laughs> I am just very happy to have read this book along with you in this reading vlog, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you watched all the way to here, comment three uh, rabbit emojis or bunny, whatever it is, to let me know. <laughs> and I will see you next time.